first step that I needed to do is create my puppets, like how he's gonna look, uh, how would I make him like look like, like his eyes and, and all that. Starting with building the characters faces, they used some basic sculpting skills, which was new to them. Um, they learned about facial proportions, even if it wasn't a realistic character. Uh, the first form was out of clay. Then we used paper mache from newspapers, and we glued them together. Well, the most important part was learning how to maneuver the puppets. They had already, as they were working before they even started with the paper mache or the sculpting, they were starting to think about a personality for their character. So the personality and the maneuvering really had to come together. I learned like to use my voice to change it like for my character. I changed uh, my sound. Dude, what, what do you do for a living, dude? Uh, oh, wait. <laughs> I kind of forget. Some of them it was a bit of a challenge getting them out of their shell, but once they realized that it was okay, um, I try to create a risk-friendly environment whenever I do a workshop, because there's always risks, especially for high schoolers to step out of their character or out outside of their social circle. So I try to create a risk-friendly environment where it's comfortable to take those risks. So that was really great that the students who were more shy or introverted got a chance to come out of their shell a little bit. and. I think Chris was definitely um, a big part in motivating them to do that. That's probably the most rewarding part about doing this is, is having someone take on a challenge like that. The best thing, it, it, gave me, it, it was a good time to do a puppet like this. I don't know, it's just like really fun, you know, you can really be yourself. You know?